good. Well, not now, Jack. I, I, we're trying to do this line read-through, but Pacey has conveniently chosen to leave his memory at home. Yeah, well, about 30 minutes ago in English class, uh, Mr. Broderick... What? Just come with me. Come on. Come on. The nurse thinks it's a kidney stone. My wife's picking me up in five minutes. The play is going up in less than eight hours. I'm sorry, Andy. I'm not going to make it there. You're going to have to take my place. You don't understand. See, I have um, tickets to sell and the after party to set up. I, I can't do everything by myself. I, I can do the tickets and the after party. Well, there you go. Jack will help you. Huh, I have but... faith in you, Andy. I mean, who am I kidding? It's been your show all along. This is your night. Here. Your director's binder? It's yours now. And as the house lights fall over that magic place we call the theater, all I ask is that you give pause for a fleeting moment and think of me. Oh, Dawson, there you are. Where's Casey? Uh, as a director, shouldn't you have a better idea of that than I do? Oh. What's going on? Um, well, it's only 20 minutes till curtain call, and my lead is nowhere to be found. I swear I saw him come in earlier. Okay, so he's got to be around here somewhere, right? All right, I'll go look for him. Okay, Dawson, don't look. Just fine, please. And, and tell him not to worry. I'm not going to kill him. <laughs> till after the show. You don't want him, that's I, okay. No, not the <laughs> I, I cannot believe that you did this in one afternoon, Jack. I mean, it's it's amazing. Come on, you're the amazing one, sis. And one word about how my people excel at decorating, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, thank you so much. Stuck with cleanup duty in your big night? I don't mind. I'm sorry Dad couldn't be here. Oh, don't be sorry. I mean, it actually kind of made it better. You know, being around all these people who don't know me so well, who believe in the person I am today, that don't really know everything that I used to be. It was great. The whole night I felt like... The bell the ball? No. More like me. Like myself. Well, that is some of the best news I've heard in a long time. I had this, uh, this mantra in the hospital. You want to hear it? Yeah. Structure and purpose. I mean, I know it's just a stupid little school play, but that's what it was to me. Structure and purpose. And I think when you have something like that in your life, you know, to hold on to that's, that's not another person, but it's more like a part of yourself, you know, like a goal or a dream. The whole world falls apart around you. You'll be okay. And you are... Okay? Yeah. I'm great. You sure you're that great? It's one way to find out. <laughs>